When I was 18 years old, I was in an unknown band called Youth of Today from Connecticut, of all places. And Seven Seconds brought us on our first tour of the West Coast. They said you can stay at our house. They fed us. They drove us. We didn't have to pay for gas. We opened up every show. Um, they set up the whole thing. And it was really amazing because here we were, we were nobodies and we didn't have anything whatsoever to offer them. They were already the biggest band in hardcore. They were already playing these sold out shows, but they just gave freely to us. You know, they let us open up. They let us use their equipment. Um, you know, they championed the band in so many ways. And, you know, they didn't really, they didn't have to do that. And that was the amazing thing about, about seven seconds. They just didn't sing about unity and brotherhood and helping out your fellow man. They actually did it. They lived by that. And that's what made the band so special. You know, a lot of people will look out at the world and say, man, what a fucked up place is, you know, the world is. But then very few people say, you know what? This universe is messed up. I'm going to create an alternate universe where in my universe, we're going to we're going to actually care about other people. We're going to help other people. We're going to look out for other people. And that's what Seven Seconds did beyond the incredible music, beyond the incredible lyrics. They actually walked the talk. And, um, you know, to this day, I'm I'm just super grateful to them and impressed by them. And that's why they'll always be an incredible band for all time to come.